Mr. Gazda here, homework eight, what's the scale? Some of this is review. Please make sure on your own that you go through all of this. It's very uh, clearly presented. There are good examples here. And then the rounding is important. Okay, and key thing, no units equals wrong. That is very important. Must have units on all of this. So let's just go through the first one here. So uh, this is all in degrees Fahrenheit and A is right there. So you need to uh, figure out what they count by. So there's a lot of kind of figuring out. So that's 200, that's 220, this is halfway, that must be 210. Therefore, uh, if you were to count, you know, you could try 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, but we said that's 210. So they don't go by ones. And then you got to count, try to do 200, 202, 204, 206, 208, 210. So it does go by two, and then that, so that's 202, 204, 204, and the units is degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, B is actually, again, that's uh, right between 180 and 200, so that is 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So the key thing is figuring out what each little uh, uh, hash mark counts by. In this case, it's 2 degrees Fahrenheit. It makes the rest of them easy, uh, easier. So this is C, is this is 160, that's 170, and then that's pointing to the third one up. So 72, 74, 76, 176 degrees Fahrenheit. D is right there, so that's 162, 164, 166 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, now we're moving on to E. E is here, so this is elevation and it's in meters, so all these are going to be in meters, and you got to look, that's 460, 500, you got to figure out what they count by. Yeah, don't just assume it's tens or something simple, because that would be, it's, uh, tens would be 460, 470, 480, but that's 500, so that doesn't work. Uh, try you try a bunch of different things and just count them out and in this case I'm gonna go from 10 to 20 for 60 for 80 500 so it does go by 20s E is this so that's uh, 580 so it's gonna be 600 600 meters again now that you know they go by 20s uh, that's 500 that's 520 meters and G is 480 meters 480 meters. Um, G, now I'm on H. So this is in millibars. You may not know what millibars is yet, but you will. It is a measure of air pressure or atmospheric pressure. So it's in millibars. Uh, what do these go by? These go by, that's 1,032.0, 1,036. So you try to count them out, to, you know, try to the simplest ones first. Um, 1,036, try by ones. 1,033, 34, 35, 36. Oh, it is that. That's nice. It kind of works out. It is ones. So they go by ones. So that's 136, 37. Ones is 1,000. Uh, zero. 38. Uh, millibars, and the abbreviation is MB, but you can write the full word out if that's a, if you like that. So that's one up, so that's 137, uh, I mean, sorry, 1,037 millibars. Again, MB being the abbreviation. Uh, this is goes up to 1,034 MB. Uh, K is 1,029 millibars. Okay. Move over to L. This is uh, inches. It's actually in inches of mercury. It's another weather thing. We'll learn about it, but let's just worry about the scale right now. So what we have here is LMO. So you got to figure out. This is one of the more challenging one. That this is the decimals get people. This is 30.50, and this is 30.60. So it's all in 30. So they're going to count by a decimal here. So and this is often difficult. Thir what's halfway between 30.50 and 30.60? Is that's a halfway mark right there? And that would be. It would be. 30.55 inches. So uh, these go by 0.1. So this is 30.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, etc. So that is uh, a little challenging. So L and we're rounding nearest hundredths. As you see up here, hundredths is two decimal places. So if this is your real number, you round to two decimal places like that. So um, L is. 30.65 uh, inches. And inches is the I N is the abbreviation. If you don't know the abbreviation, you write write the word out completely. That's fine. Inches, you can write that out. That's always the best case scenario. M is going to be so that's 30.556. 
So that's 8. So it's 30.58. You really got to look closely. And then this is 30.4, 41, 42, 43. 30.43 .43 inches. And this is 30. Point. Yeah, so you, it's cut off here, but you still could just count down. It still goes by the same thing. Uh, it still counts by the same scale there, 30.36 inches. Okay, and you have to have the units on all of them. Uh, it's not uncommon because you leave all the units off and it will be wrong. If, trust me, it would be wrong. You don't want to do that. So let's go on to the next page here. Uh, P, similar elevation in feet. You always want to see what that is. What, what am I looking at? 80, and you got to count them out. What, do they go by tens? That's the common thing. 160, 170, 180. doesn't go by tens. Uh, try 20, 160, 180, 200. So it does go by that. So P is going to be uh, 180 feet. And Q is going to, it's 80, it's going to be 100 feet. You must have the feet on there or else you're, that's wrong. This here, now we're talking about particle diameter and flow time. So your flow time is about uh, water moving in the stream, how long it takes to, uh, for water to flow. How fast the water is moving in the stream. It doesn't really matter so much here. The S means seconds. Um, R, so what do these count by? So this is a whole nother scale. So that's 40, that's 50. People often just count them out. Do they go by ones? 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. It's not that. They don't go by ones. Let's try something different. Next thing up, probably reasonable to count by is twos. 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. That is 50. So they go by twos. Therefore, 42, 44, 46. So it's 46 seconds. And you just write S. And then S, uh, four, number S, or letter S, uh, 10. 12, 14, 14 seconds. That represents 14 seconds. And this is a skill we use very often in our science, so just get it under your belt now. OT is down here. Particle diameter, how big like a piece of sediment is or a pebble in centimeters. This is the decimals. Again, are the more challenging parts for students. 0 0.05, 0 0.10. And this is, you guys just try to count them out. Um, and it ends up going by 0 0.01. So this is 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, 0 0.10. And, and that may be a little hard for you. Maybe this is even, maybe this is better. This is 0 0.10. This is 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15. That may help. Um, so T is 0 0.07 centimeters. And U is 13, 0 0.13 centimeters. And uh, that's U, U and V is 0 0.19 centimeters. Okay, W is down here. This is diameter in kilometers. This is about, oh, you can see here, Earth, Moon, and... Um, other celestial objects in um, in space. So this you got to figure out. These count by, and do they count by? So that's do they count by hundreds? So 40, 100, 42, 43, 44, 45. They do go by hundreds. And this is the 41, 40. This is 4,300 kilometers. 4,300 kilometers. And I'll say what many earth. I mean, many teachers have, science teachers have said in the past. Must have the units on there. Super important. And then this one here is. The second one up, okay, so they go by 100, so that's 200 kilometers there, 200 kilometers. Okay, we're going on to the next page here. So what we have here is this is, this chart is in millions of light years, millions of light years. And this is where it's going to get a little tricky that uh, you got to figure these, do these go by 100, let's say 400, 500, 600. That doesn't work, that's not 600. Do they go by 200, 400, 600, 800? Yes, so they go by 200 million light years. This is going to be challenging because what you're going to write is 600, but it's not 600 light years, it's 600 million light years. That is what often trip, uh, trips kids up, which I understand, but try not to uh, get tripped up by that. And this is going to be 3,400 million light years. 3,400 million light years, which is a number we're not used to saying or using, but 
Okay, so we're still rolling here. So uh, I'm going to try to speed this along a little bit. This is looking down at the North Pole. These are latitude lines. So check this out. This is, gets a little tricky too in that you're at zero here, and then this is zero, 60 degrees west, 120 degrees west. They go to 180. So these are all sort of west, and these are all east. Looking down at the North Pole, it's a unique view of Earth. But let's just do AA. So this is 120 degrees east. All of these are east. So what, and this is 180, so you got to figure out what these count by. And you should count. Is it, is it tens? 30, uh, 130, 140. Nope, it's not that. Is it 20s? 140, 160. No, it's not that. Is it, you know, we could do 25s. One, but it was not going to be off 120. But one, 145, 170. It's not that. Is it 30s? 150, 180. So it is, it goes by 30s, which a unique number to count by, but we do it for. It does uh, work that way often with the latitude and longitude. So AA is 150 degrees longitude, and that is going to be east, so be careful there. And BB, so these go by 30s again, that's 60 degrees west, 120 degrees west, this is going to be 90 degrees west, 90 degrees west. And CC is here, CC is here, so again, this is uh, going to go by 30, so this is 30 degrees east, 30 degrees east. And it's confusing looking down at Earth like this. We often have to really, uh, in this class, see what we're looking at, how we're looking at it, to um, before we really start diving in. So what we're going to do here, let's just uh, see. This is unique in that it goes down. This is the hard part here. Zero. So it's zero here. It goes down. So like we used to saying, like counting up. So that's not, you know, that's not eleven. That's nine. You know, this isn't. This is 12 here, so it, it, it goes down this way. That's what trips kids up. I'm just going to put the answers on here. Um, so DD is 5 feet. That's that 5 feet. EE is 8 feet. 8 feet. FF is 25 feet. Okay. And GG, duration of light. So now we're uh, duration of light in hours, first latitude. GG here, round to the nearest tenth. So this is, this goes by, hey, figure out there, go by, count them out, at point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, nope. So they count by point 0.2s, 10.2, 10.4, 10.6, so that. So they count them out, 10.2, 10.4, and it's 10.8 hours. HH is uh, going to be 5.2, 5.4 hours. Uh, I, I is 4.2 hours, 4.2 hours, 4.2 hours, um, and then JJ is here, these go by 2, so that's, and these are, oh, look, latitude degrees north, degrees north, so, I'm going to write these in, save, just to save you a little time on, save some time on the video here, and then 62 degrees north, and 78 degrees north. So, those are our answers for this. I'm going to point out that. Let's not forget, you must have these units on here. Okay, the units are key, and I've seen a number of kids do this homework and homeworks like it, where they have all numbers and not one unit. And sorry, but that will be all wrong, and you don't want to make that mistake. Okay, so all of these, all the units here are a key part to it. So, that's homework eight. I'm Mr. Gaz. Thank you for watching.